In order to install Google Nav onto your rooted Galaxy S3, you would be flashing some files using custom uh, Clockwork Mod Recovery. So first thing you do is copy the files. I would put a link of the files in the description. And you would go to your phone SD card, internal SD card, and you would paste them onto the root of the SD card. Remember, it's not the external SD card, but it's the internal SD card. So uh, I've copied the Mickey six underscore offline dot zip, and uh, now go to the clock mark water recovery and do a backup. And um, this backup usually takes about uh, five to fifteen minutes, depending upon uh, the amount of uh, uh, data you have. Uh, just to be sure, you know, if something goes wrong in the process, you have something good to go back to so we will okay so the backup is done it took about approximately 10 minutes I've cut that thing out so what you want to do is after backing it up you need to go back And select install from zip card install zip from the SD card sorry and uh, here you would have to choose zip from SD card and here basically you would be scrolling down until you find the file what you have transferred so let's see let's find the file here it's the last one Mickey 6 underscore offline so just select it using the uh, power button make sure click on yes install the file and you should see the process going on Google now for ICS and it's complete so after Doing that, you can just restart the system. Just click select reboot system now, and your phone should be restarting normally. See me in the background there. Before going ahead and using the Google Now, we have to double check whether the process has been done or not. And um, to make sure it works, we need to set some permissions. We need to check some uh, permissions. So let's see what we can do here. You need to grab a file explorer for this. And uh, I don't think you would be able to use the default file explorer because you need the file explorer which has a root access in it and um, so basically what you have to do is you have to use the ES file explorer that's what uh, I feel um, good to use so go to the e file explorer and uh, and in the e file explorer if all you're starting it uh, new um, you have to go to settings first and you have to enable the root access before you can set the permissions for Google Nav so check up to root and check in root explorer so it would give you a warning so just click on yes and allow the super user request click on yes again and now you could go back uh, to the um, file explorer here you would go under root find the folder called as system in the system folder you need to find a folder called as user usr and there you would find the folder s r e c and 
remember for these two folders you would go under properties and you would check the permissions here just make sure you have whatever you see in the video right here and kind of thing so yeah that should be enough make sure you check for en under en hyphen us folder as well just go to the properties and make sure it's what we need right uh, it's what we need just a end kind of shape and just double checking it here yeah so that should be uh, the permission set and I uh, think we are okay with the permissions now so the Google Now should work so let's test the What's Google the Now first so use the first option Google So you can see that it uh, works now. Uh, uh, the Google now works, and let's set the Google now cards as well. So before you can do that, you need to open up the Google application on your phone, and go through the uh, initial setup process. And uh, should get the card right now. Yeah, and eventually you can set up some more cards and uh, yeah that's how you install Google now for the rooted Galaxy S3